Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 7 and yeah last episode we saw the Warhammer Titan and pretty much defeated him already unless they can take him back somehow and yeah I mean Galia tried right but he failed because Levi came in clutch and cut off his jaw which is very ironic for the jaw titan and it seems like that Mikasa, Eren, uh, Jean, Flock and all the others are a bit conflicted between what they are supposed to do, right? Um, because Flock wants to go all out and wants to kill everyone. And uh, Jean comes in and is like, yeah, no, don't go against the civilians. Um, spare the civilians. And uh, Mikasa was also like, Eren, you kill civilians, you kill children. You can't take that back anymore. So it seems that there's a conflict going on. So they're not all on the same path, basically. And I guess we will see how that turns out and where it's going. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. And it's, it's interesting that he knows Ackerman, uh, right? So maybe that's just some information that the military to uh, tells them. Maybe the military is like, there are the Ackermans, they are crazy, take care. <laughs> they are dangerous. Oh, here's a car titan. Oh, oh my god. Like the flies getting shot out of the sky. Holy shit. Man, that's dangerous. Like having a having the car titan with like the turrets and everything. Oh, so they prepared, okay. Because Peak knew about it. Oh, how? Did she make a connection with the ground again? Oh, she, yes, she made another one. That's nasty. And there's a beast titan. Yep. Is he throwing some shit? Oh, Levi can get revenge, maybe. <laughs> Zeke already lost to Levi once. And here, Levi has better op options to attack him, right? With all the buildings. And she's pissed. Of course, the intro, man. God damn it. What is this? Oh, Reiner, of course. <clears throat> and Falco is still safe, I guess. Yep. Just got a bit dirty. And this is so nasty with the turrets and all that stuff. And fighting like basically three titans. Very durable. Yeah, they are a bit like stuck, I would say. Oh, really? Is that connected? I mean, he is done with his life, basically. He's like. I think, like, feels just very guilty. Yeah, don't count on Sophie or Udo. <laughs> and he throws shit again. Oh! He has pictures in the turret? Let me check that. He has pictures in the turret. Oh, I think this is Peak, and then a group picture with Peak. Man, they are all in love with Peak. <laughs> Ziva is dangerous. And Mikasa. But Mikasa is more focused on Eren, I guess. Oh. Do you have armor teeth? But I guess he isn't in a good position either. Oh really? He has a plan? Oh, he transforms again, okay. Tricky! That motherfucker! I guess he trained? Got stronger? I wouldn't say so. Okay, that's true. 
But I guess, guess they have a plan, right? Mm. I mean, like I said, I, I guess they must have a plan, right? Him and his long arms. I mean, I guess Levi can win, but I mean, then there's still the Car Titan and Door Titan. <laughs> Aaron? <laughs> oh, Gabi. If she wants revenge. <clears throat> Fishing boat? Who is, is this Armin? Is he transforming into the Titan and attacks from the outside? Yes! <laughs> Get nuked, bitches! <laughs> they didn't thought about that, but there's still the Colossal Titan. <laughs> the big nuke that normally they have control over. Holy shit! Of course they did. Of course. <laughs> Didn't they thought about this? I guess he loses his head a bit. How does he how does he know? Can he smell that? It smells like Ackerman. That must be one. Oh! <laughs> There's Levi! I think that was a bit too easy, right? And there's Levi. I feel like Zeke is maybe not inside anymore. I think it was too easy, right? Because Zeke knows how dangerous Levi is. Oh! She got him? Dang! Sniper! <laughs> Sasha! Oh, straight in the middle, dude. Yeah, turn around that she can find the next tower. And there comes Jean with a spear. Yep, they lose their cool right now. And more! <laughs> They're dead. Well, I guess the car titan is done. Ooh. I guess one hit like her back a, a bit. And they see that all the titans fall. Oh. I mean, the titan is not beautiful to begin with, but that what even, was even more disgusting. Clans of her information, a new transition between anti personal and anti titan combat. Oh, that's. Pretty handy, I guess. But 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 he but here in this case we have like the separation, right? We have Levi. He has mainly blades with him, and then some C4, I guess, or some explosives. And then we have like some like G that have like the spears with them, and then we have some that have like the guns with them, because carrying everything with them, I guess, would be too much weight and too much stuff to carry at once. And there's a nuke. I don't want to know how many people died. That Armin just killed. I wonder he, how he feels about it. Because Armin is not really... He's more like on the sensitive side, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, Jean doesn't want to kill civilians. So he stops. No! Yeah. I mean, he hesitated for a moment. Oh. She's done. So that only leaves the Jaw Titan? Unless Zeke is. Unless Zeke plans something. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, what a punch. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nasty little thing. Oh. Oh, he can cut it with his claws. Is he using him now, maybe? To maybe break it open with his claws or some shit? Yes, he is. Because I think Ymir wasn't the fully developed Jawtide, right? Reiner is her brother, right? And how many did you kill of the people on Paradise Island? I mean, that's what basically war is about, right? They killed so many of ours, but they don't see how many we killed of theirs. That's Hanji! And Armin. Okay, so they grab him. Get out. Armin was always the tactician. <laughs> Oh, he goes for it. But Mikasa! Oh, she got the legs! Too hasty! I feel like he loses his head pretty easily. He's like. He is too aggressive. Which makes sense for the Jaw Titan, I guess. Being fast and aggressive. Oh my god, he rips out the arm. Oh yeah, he uses his jaw to break the crystal. And now, Nutcracker. <laughs> Dude, he is a tool. <laughs> this is so smart for, of Aaron to do this. And he can't even get out and stop it. It's just... Even if he gets out, the Titan still remains the body. Something has to happen. Oh! And he drinks it like a fucking juice. Is he getting the power? Something happened. Dude, if he has the War Titan abilities now, that would be crazy. <clears throat> Is this how it works? Can Aaron just absorb the powers of the others and get the powers of them? That would be crazy. I mean, if they have more spears, then Reiner gets fucked. Yeah, I guess he is just giving up, but I guess he comes around now. Yep. Does he have spikes? Did he evolve? Did he evolve? Because of his determination now? Or some shit? What a crazy episode again. It's very interesting how the tables turn the whole time, right? Last episode it seems like the table is on our side. Um, we took care of the Warhammer Titan, the Jaw Titan couldn't get Eren. And now in this episode, it seems like the tables turn again because Zeke showed up, the Car Titan showed up, and everything. And the army prepares and comes um, to help. But they completely forgot that there is still Armin and that they have the Colossal Titan, right? So they completely forget th forgot that from what it seems. And Armin starts a nuke outside of the city, destroys every everything, and the distraction was enough to get rid of Zeke. But I'm not sure if Zeke is like really done because it seemed like kind of uneventful right Zeke just stood there he knew that Levi was just waiting around and then he suddenly gets ambushed by his, by Levi basically and just takes it no reaction at all and we have and we haven't seen that Zeke is we haven't seen Zeke his, his real body we have just seen that the beast titan is 
on the ground. So maybe Zeke got out before and um, is somewhere else hiding or something. Um, and then Galliard lost his head a bit and the car titan lost its head a bit and slowly but surely the tables turned again in favor to Aaron and the others because they just did stuff that wasn't very smart like one shot from Sasha knocked out one in the car titan's turrets the car titan gets loses her cool a bit peak and bam then comes the other guys with the spears and explode the whole car titan and that's done so it's it's interesting how the tables turn and how like they lose their cool very quickly and then suddenly the tables turn again and i'm repeating myself again very often i feel like so yeah um now they have the airship the zeppelin to get everyone out um and aaron drank the warhammer titan juice and i'm wondering can he absorb the powers of other war titan of other titans um and make the powers his own because i think so far we haven't seen that really right um yeah because yeah we, we haven't seen that so far so maybe he can absorb the powers is that possible because i mean we had ymir who ate the jaw titan but she didn't really became the jaw titan right she looked the same before and after and it didn't really seem like that she changed really and now we have for whatever reason, Reiner, who changed his looks completely, um, he looks a bit more human, I would say, at least in the face and has spikes and shit. I wonder from what that comes. Maybe maybe determination or maybe rage or something. Um, interesting. And in, I mean, at least when it comes to like Aaron and he drank the War Titan, Warhammer Titan juice, something changed in his eyes a little slight bit. Um, so maybe it's something awakened or something. Can't wait to see what that's all about. If he like got the powers now. If yes, then he is very strong. I guess if he can like put an armor around his whole body and make a hammer and a whip and crossbow shit and everything, then I think I think that would maybe be enough that Reiner has no chance against him if that if he can utilize all of that. If not, then could be tough. I guess Aaron alone could maybe lose against Reiner still because the attack titan is not very uh, durable right um, but i mean we have still like mikasa and others around and if, and if they have spears they can still blow the armor of rhinos to pieces i mean we saw that happen in uh, season three so interesting to see how that turns out i would guess that rhina has not the best chances but yeah, i guess we see that we see the dip, dip, dip but i guess we see that in the next episode um but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.